Hi, God bless you. My name is Nisi and I'm here with a word from God. God has urged my spirit to speak out on the importance of us living a repentant life and just turning away from sin. There is a time, there is a rapture that is to come and it is coming sooner than we think. The time is amongst us. The Lord says he will come like a thief in the night. And for those of us who are living a lukewarm, double agent life, we will have to endure unbearable things. When you read the book of Revelations, the things that are to come are not things that any of us want to experience. So God has offered us a way to receive his protection through those trying times. As long as we choose him and we accept him before others and we live in obedience. I'm actually going to read the entire chapter of Revelations 3 because it is very important and I'm going to be reading it from a contemporary English version Bible just because I think this is um, a gem. This is something that's good for everybody to have you're gonna want to keep your you know new king james version and your nivs but the contemporary english if you're having trouble understanding it, it breaks it down for a child to read and i've had a bible like this since i was a child and it was a blessing that um someone in my youth gave me and now in my adulthood when i'm finally opening it up i'm able to receive of course with prayer that the holy spirit will reveal his word to me the truth about what is to come and, and what is going on in this world that we see so much craziness going on. So no further. Hold on. The letter to Sardis. So before I start also, these are all letters from Christ to the churches given uh, through prophecy to John from Jesus Christ. Okay. So it says, this is what you must write to the angel of the church in Sardis. I have the seven spirits of God and the seven stars. Listen to what I say. I know what you are doing. Everyone may think you are alive, but you are dead. Wake up. You have only a little strength left and it's almost gone. So try to become stronger. I have found that you are not completely obeying God. Remember the teachings that you were given and that you heard. Hold firmly to it and turn from your sins. If you don't wake up, I will come when you least expect it, just as a thief does. A few of you in Sardis have not dirtied your clothes with sin. You will walk with me in white clothes because you are worthy. Everyone who wins the victory will wear white clothes. Their names will not be erased from the book of life. And I will tell my father and his angels that they are my followers. If you have ears, listen to what the spirit says to the churches. So if you have ears, you want to listen. So it's not just to the church. It's to everybody with ears. And so he continues with a letter to Philadelphia, another church. This is what you must write to the angel of the church of Philadelphia. I am the one who is holy and true, and I have the keys that belong to David. When I open a door, no one can close it. And when I close a door, no one can open, open it. Listen to what I say. I know everything you have done, and I have placed before you an open door that no one can close. You were not very strong, but you obeyed my message and did not deny that you are my followers. Now you will see what I will do with those people who belong to Satan's group. They claim to be God's people, but they are liars. I will make them come and kneel down at your feet. Then they will know that I love you. You obeyed my message and endured, so I will protect you from the time of testing that everyone in all the world must go through. I am coming soon, so hold firmly to what you have, and no one will take away the crown that you will be given as your reward. Everyone who wins the victory will be made into a pillar in the temple of my God, and they will stay there forever. I will write on each of them the name of my God and the name of his city. It is the new Jerusalem that my God will send down from heaven. I will also write on them my new name. If you have ears, listen to what the Spirit says to the churches. And um, the last one in chapter 3 is the letter to Laodicea. So we got one church that ain't doing right. And he's letting them know, I'm going to come like a thief in the night. It's another church that is doing right. The letters to Philadelphia, he's saying, I'm going to, uh, you're going to have a door open before you that no man can close. And I'm going to protect you from that treacherous time of the rapture that everybody has to go through. And that you're going to have a crown on your head and the, the enemy is going to come and bow at your feet because you obey God. And then we have the last church who's also in disobedience for chapter three, the letter to Laodicea. This is what you must write to the angel of the church in Laodicea. 
I am the one called Amen. I am the faithful and true witness and the source of God's creation. Listen to what I say. I know everything you have done, and you are not cold or hot. I wish you were either one or the other. But since you are lukewarm and neither cold or hot, I will spit you out of my mouth. You claim to be rich and successful and to have everything you need, but you don't know how bad off you are. You are pitiful, poor, blind, and naked. Buy your gold from me. It has been refined in fire, and it will make you rich. Buy white clothes from me. Wear them, and you can cover up your shameful nakedness. Buy, buy medicine for your eyes so that you will be able to see. I correct and punish everyone I love. So make up your minds to turn away from your sins. Listen, I am standing and knocking at your door. If you hear my voice and open the door, I will come in and we will eat together. Everyone who wins the victory will sit with me on my throne, just as I won the victory and sat with my father on his throne. If you have ears, listen to what the Spirit says to the churches. So you have to choose today. You never know what day it'll be. It could be tomorrow. It could be in 20 years. It could be in a week. It could be in a month. It's not worth it for when he comes in the thief of the night to get the letter that he had to Sardis or the letter that he had to Lodicea. I know when the living God comes that I want him to give me the letter he gave to Philadelphia, saying that I have done well and that I will be rewarded and that the enemy will bow at my feet. And I pray that for you as well. Pray with me. If you're not saved, it's really simple. All you have to do is to proclaim with your mouth that you believe that Jesus is the Son of God and that he died on the cross for your sins and that you profess him as your Lord and Savior. And for everyone who may be living a lukewarm life, I ask that you live a repentant life. You come to the Lord in prayer and you ask him to be your strength and to take away the sins. For when we were in the world, we were slaves to sins. But in Christ, he gives us the ability to overcome temptation. So pray his strength over your life. Pray for him to be with you and to show you the right way and to give you the strength to endure and obey so that you will be protected and rewarded in the times of testing that are to come. In the holy name of Jesus, amen. I love you all. Bye.